And this is Ken Kreitzer at the United States Military Academy. Uh, we're going to present two outstanding cadets with an award today. Uh, Jen Hazlitt uh, from Utah and Colby Miller from Alabama uh, with a very special award. And we appreciate the gathering of uh, families, coaches, administrators here from, uh, from West Point. And uh, to introduce the award, uh, the Lieutenant Eugene Evans, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Eli Page Howard Jr. Leadership Award. It's named after two uh, veterans of the U.S. Army uh, who were from my community where I grew up in Pelham, New York, to stand in Westchester. At the end of World War II, they both served as U.S. Marines, and then they uh, enrolled at Morgan State College, and uh, they played on what was considered to be a national championship 1949 team at Morgan State, a team that probably could have, as uh, we heard from some of the Morgan State people when they were here last fall, they could have... Uh, won the Rose Bowl that year. And uh, they were also in the first Army ROTC class at Morgan State College after uh, President Truman ordered the integration of the Army and the military, and they installed the program at Morgan, which has produced a tremendous number of distinguished Army officers. And uh, Colonel Howard was actually the first captain of that, of that program. And uh, they both uh, started their careers in the Army. As we know, the Korean War uh, was... Uh, at its height uh, just in the early 1950s. And uh, uh, Eugene Evans was uh, volunteered to do a mission across enemy lines before a battle. And sadly, his unit uh, was ambushed and he, he died in service of, of our country. And uh, uh, well remembered, um, he was considered a, a, a force, he was a four sport athlete in high school, and, he thought, and there was talk that he might have had a chance to play Major League Baseball. Uh, Colonel Howard proceeded on his career in the U.S. Army and uh, served in Germany after a tour in Korea. And he served two tours in Vietnam. He served at the Pentagon. And uh, sadly, he was, he was running a thousand-person uh, battalion, and his helicopter was shot down in the middle of a battle outside of Saigon in, 19, in the summer of 1969. And Colonel Howard is interred at Arlington National Cemetery. And uh, we've had the chance to visit his gravesite a number of times. Uh, his father was a World War I uh, soldier. So that's uh, the, the background to our award, and we appreciate everyone uh, giving us this opportunity to remember two extraordinary veterans of the United States Army. Now, they would be very proud of the two recipients that we're going to uh, visit with uh, today, and uh, Jen Hazlitt. Uh, Jen, you had a tremendous uh, senior year playing uh, basketball for, for Army. Uh, you uh, 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 had, a tremendous, had a great scoring average, I think at 13 points a game, is that correct? And you were a tre tremendous rebounder and a leader on the team, which won the Patriot League championship. You had that tremendous night against Holy Cross uh, here at West Point, the Hollander Center. And then you had that great night at uh, uh, the opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament. Um, it's pretty good when you get the chairman of the Joint Chiefs to come to your game. And... Uh, um, one of the things that uh, we know we were talking about earlier was that uh, at the press conference at the after the game, the, the uh, basketball questions were kind of winding down. So I had the chance to ask Jen about her future plans, and she gave this extraordinary description of what someone graduating from West Point and joining the U.S. Army will do, and and joining the Quartermaster Corps. So just uh, on behalf of the Pelham Hall of Honor and all of us at the Sons of the American Legion, Sons of the American Legion Radio, we're very pleased to present you with our award in honor of Colonel Howard and Lieutenant Evans. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just maybe just give us a thought on uh, uh, what was your highlight playing basketball here at West uh, my highlight was just being with the girls and winning the Patriot League championship because that's something that you strive for the entire time you're here, and you know we made it, and we just made all the former players and the program proud. I'm just glad to have been a part of it. Absolutely, and uh, just again, uh, as you did down in Maryland that that Sunday afternoon, just tell us again uh, your plans, uh, graduation and commissioning on Wednesday, big day for you and everyone. Uh, just tell us about your plans as you join the U.S. Army. Uh, I branched quartermasters, so I'm going to go. I'm going to stay here actually and be a grad assistant until January for the prep school team for women's basketball. And then following that, I go to Bullock at Fort Lee, Virginia. And then following that, I'm stationed at Fort Stewart, Georgia. Well, our best wishes to you from all of us in Pelham, Pelham Hall of Honor, and, uh, and all of us in the Sons of the American Legion.
you. And Colby Miller, our friend from uh, Army football. Uh, Colby had an extraordinary senior season, having not uh, been made the varsity basically until your senior year. You did all the things to support the program, practice squad, all the things. You, you got through injuries to uh, be there on opening day last year and uh, play. And then you had a great season. Uh, you filled in when there were injuries, starting at the, at the middle linebacker position. Uh, maybe just tell us a little bit about a couple of those big games that you had uh, uh, against uh, the Eastern Michigan game, uh, and then the Temple game, and then out at Air Force. Um, I mean, going into those games, I was just looking to be a role player, uh, help out where I could, um, not let my team down, not let my defense down. Um, but, I mean, it, it, was just, it just came natural um, being, being out there. It, it, it just got to have fun with it. I mean, I knew I knew I only had a few more few more games left, and you got to make the best of every moment. If you don't, I mean, you lose them, and that's that's when that's when uh, regret comes in, and you don't want that. So, and you were known for determination and staying with the program, and uh, then when the team needed you, being ready your senior season. What did it take to be ready uh, to play last year? I mean. Just giving it all, no matter what, um, no matter what the circumstances. When it got really tough, really uh, when it when it got hard to be happy and have fun, you, that's that's when you got to dig down deep and look to your brothers to the left and right of you. And I mean, you got to find it. And I mean, if uh, any true competitor will find that motivation to keep pushing on and uh, play for your brothers on the team. Absolutely, and I know you're uh, planning to join the infantry division of the U.S. Army and. Uh, you have a, a, a very special grandfather that's been an inspiration to you. Tell us about him. Um, Paul Paul was <laughs> uh, my biggest role model. Um, he was the, uh, I mean, he, he's the biggest reason I chose West Point over everybody else. Um, and he, he fought in the Battle of the Bulge, uh, was awarded the Bronze Star. Um, and, I mean, he actually got to see me play my first, well, A-Day game in, uh, my plebe year in the stadium before he passed away that later that October. Um, but I mean, every, every time, uh, anytime I, it got tough during the season or anything like that, I'd always look up to, uh, section 14, but that's where, that's where he was sitting before. Um, but when during the eight, eight game, I'd always look up to section 14 and just, just know he's, he's there watching me right now. And, and I got to keep pushing and I keep pushing. And I mean, I mean, I, I was playing for him when he was up. I, mean, I know he's up there watching right now. And, I mean, I was playing for him and playing for everybody else on the team and playing for, I mean, just just, just showing how much I love football. That's the biggest thing. Absolutely. And we're also very proud of you and, uh, Jen, uh, on your accomplishments. Now, Colby, let me present you with our award, uh, recognizing your achievements and remembering Lieutenant Evans and uh, Colonel Howard. And really, our best wishes to both of you uh, for your graduation on Wednesday and your commissioning. You, you stand up and take the oath again, and you uh, become second lieutenants in the United States Army. So our best wishes, congratulations from all of us at the Helm Hall of Honor and Sons of the American Legion. This is Ken Kratzer at West Point.